Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. Uh, it is Wednesday night, June 27th, 2018, out 10.32 p.m. here on the West Coast in the uh, Sunshine State of California. And uh, doing a very quick update video in regards to the activity occurring uh, in the uh, Cascadia Subduction Zone region there. Uh, as you can see right here, the hourly tremor map being detected, or picked up, I should say, shows, well, this here is just the last three hours, just the last three hours of tremor detection. Um, pretty large uptick. I want to make sure I'm showing it correctly, which I am, I guess. Uh, sometimes my hotkey on my broadcasting software does not work correctly, but last three hours up there in Vancouver Island region shows a very large increase in activity now once again this is trimmer uh, being picked up along the Cascadia subduction zone there in the Pacific Northwest uh, northwest of Seattle to be exact uh, and southwest of Vancouver British Columbia up there along the uh, Vancouver Island region now Let's go back 48 hours ago and it shows a humongous increase confined and uh, situated within the island itself right there. Now this is a good thing so to speak because we are seeing a release of pressure on a slow scale uh, in a very, uh, a very uh, sensitive area I guess I should say uh, Cascadia subduction zone is no stranger to 9.0 earthquakes and that's uh, a very good possibility within the future but right now we're seeing a, uh, a very large uptick in slow slip release pressure here in the northwest corner of the United States there on the uh, Vi Vancouver Island region little bit of activity in Northern California but on a large-scale basis not a lot of activity uh, in the Cascadia subduction zone but more confined up to the uh, region right there in Vancouver Island and and when you take a look at this this is the last 48 hours of trimmer it's a lot it is a lot of activity Okay, so you gotta remember we got the North American plate over here, uh, the uh, San Juan de Fuca plate down here, and you got the Pacific plate over here to the west. Okay, so when you have a lot of slow slippage, which is right here in a large scale, large scale area, uh, and there's a lot, folks. There's 35.2 hours of trimmer uh, being picked up right there. We um we have to pay attention to this okay because we've seen it before in the past right we have but in this magnitude not really uh, this magnitude kind of worries me a little bit uh, good thing is that we're seeing a little bit of pressure being released on the slow slip basis down here in Northern California uh, southeast southwest of Redding California this is pretty, uh, not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot of activity down there, but there is some. But the big story is this area up here. There's movement going on with this region right here. And um, a lot of folks think uh, that um, we tend to see some mega earthquakes occur before slow slip events. Now, I'm not going to say there's going to be a mega earthquake. But uh, we're always on heightened alert whenever we see this type of activity. So um, heads up in the Pacific Northwest. More importantly, Central Oregon, where we have not seen any type of release of uh, slow slip event pressure at all in the past few months. And that's, uh, I've always said that's an area where we're going to, see the uh, Cascadia subduction zone slip and start to rip the epicenter if you will um, off the coast of Oregon within this area right here central Oregon to be exact uh, but for now a lot of activity 
Vancouver Island region, heads up. Um, definitely if you're in the Pacific Northwest region, be on guard. Not a whole lot of activity in Northern California to show off for it. There's a, a little bit of activity on the Gorda Escapement, a 2.8 off of Brookings, Oregon, and also a 2.7 just south of that region. No more surface quakes to uh, report in the ongoing activity, but uh, just a heads up, be prepared. There's a lot of activity occurring on the uh, Cascadia subduction zone in the slow slip scale. So uh, that's just the last three hours right there, folks. Um, almost three hours of trimmer being picked up there. So heads up, be prepared, have an earthquake plan if you will. If you want to survive, that is. And uh, we'll chat at you guys just a little bit later. Peace.